short. Today we are going to make a coffee mug. Now, uh, the coffee mugs you have at home are made out of clay, and today we're going to make a real-life functional coffee mug. I'm going to give you a circle on a piece of styrofoam. Please write your name on the piece of styrofoam in case we don't get done today, because I want you to take your time with this and do a really good job. Now, if you make any mistakes, then the coffee mate mug won't work and it will just be decoration. Then you've got a pencil holder with a handle. First thing you do is you roll up this uh, tube in aluminum foil really tight so that there are no wrinkles because the wrinkles will show up on the inside. So you want to make sure that you smooth out any of the aluminum foil, all of the aluminum foil so it's nice and smooth. Then you're going to gently place it on there. Don't push it in because you're gonna, if you push it in, you might push it through. So just place it on there. And then we're gonna start making coils. And this is just like when we made our coil pencil holder. So you just squish it up into a slug and then you're gonna roll it into a snake. And you do that, a lot of people make mistakes by just rolling back and forth one time. And then you don't really end up with a coil. You end up with this kind of flat thing. So you roll all the way out as far as your arms will reach and all the way back. Oops, I accidentally knocked the frame there. All the way and in order to not get a lump in the middle, you wanna roll your hands out. So make sure it's nice and even. You want a nice, even coil. If it gets too long, just pinch it off and start rolling it out again, rolling it out all the way out. See how my hands are working their way out to the edge of the coil? You want it to be about as thick as a pencil, maybe a little bit thicker, but uh, not much. And then you just start wrapping it around. And I actually like to move my uh, cylinder around and just place that right, one coil right on top of the other. And remember that part I had to take off because it was getting too long? Just roll that out a little bit more until it's about as thin as a pencil. Measure it with the pencil and then start right where you left the last one and just wrap it around on top of itself all the way up. And then you're just going to continue to do this until you get to the very tip top of this cylinder that I gave you, which is just cut from uh, one of the paper roll tubes. I just cut it to be about four inches. All right, I'm going to fast forward through this so that um, you can see how I make the coils and they go all the way up to the top. So make sure that you get your coils all the way to the very tip top of the cylinder and that you finish it up so that it's a nice flat lip of your cup. Otherwise you don't want an uneven lip of your cup because then you're going to spill um, all over yourself if you try to drink out of it. So this is as far as we're going to get this hour. Um, we're going to put it in a plastic bag and save it for the next class. And then in the next class I'm going to show you how to smooth it out so it doesn't look like coils how to fix it so that there aren't any leaks, and how to put the handle on and finish it up. And also how to take the cylinder out of here uh, so that we can get it ready to fire. And that will all happen in the next class. When you're done, you're going to very carefully take it out of the bag and do that by pulling it, um, don't try to pull it over the top, instead work it out from the bottom, slip the, it from the bottom and pull it right over the top of your, uh, of your coil pot here. All right. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to smooth out all the coils. So if you see any place where there is a gap, you're going to push that together and then you're going to get some slip and you're going to smooth it out and you might want to put your hand in there so that you can push it against because you got to smooth out all those coils with the slip so you're pushing the slip into all of those coils and you're smoothing it out so that there aren't any coils you might have to push down pretty hard and you want to go up and down not back and forth 
because you're pushing those coils into each other and smoothing it out. So go back up and down, up and down, and smooth out all of those coils. And see how I have my left hand inside because I'm right-handed, and I'm using my right hand to smooth everything out. And this might take you 15 or 20 minutes just to smooth all of this out. Then, after you have it completely all the way smoothed out, you're going to add the, um, the handle. And now I'm going to show you how to add the handle mount. You're going to go wash your hands because you don't want any slip uh, for you adding the handle on your hands. You want your table nice and dry because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of roll out. Now, we used to roll all the way out, and I told you don't just go back and forth. This time go, but just back and forth. So we're making a flat coil. Or you can make a coil and then flatten it down a little bit. Turn it into a question mark. See how that was a question mark? Then you're going to score it so it kind of looks like a um, fence, like a chain link fence. You're gonna do that on the uh, question mark, and you're also going to do that where the question mark will connect, which will become the handle little slip in both places push it on smooth it out and make sure you smooth it out otherwise it will fall off you want to smooth that out both for your knuckles when you hold it and so that it won't fall off and then this is the last part and this is kind of magical you make sure that the aluminum foil is showing you pull out the aluminum foil all the way so that it's all the way out and then it slips right out sometimes you have to give it a little twist and then from the bottom tabs, not from the top tabs, but from the bottom tabs, you just pull out that aluminum foil. And it just pulls right out. Put the aluminum foil in the recycling, and then this will dry, and I will fire it this week, and so that next week you can glaze it. Also make sure the lip of the cup is nice and smooth.